When traveling the beautiful Trans Severn Waterway, one has the option of spending the night at any of the locks along the system. As I shared with you many times in the past, one of the highlights for us when traveling on the Trent Sermon Waterway is spending a night or two at the locks. In the last video I shared with you what it costs to go through the locks. This time we're going to look at what the mooring fees are. The Trent Sermon Waterway is 240 miles long or 386 kilometers and it is made up of a number of lakes, rivers and man-made canals which are all interconnected by a series of locks. Now there's over 40 locks on the system where one can spend a night and the mooring fees are actually quite reasonable. Now just keep in mind that there is no charge if you just want to pull in during the day, perhaps stop for a picnic, take a break or whatever. Now as long as there's room for you to stop and tie up, again there's no fee, there's no charge. But if you want to spend the night, you will have to get a mooring permit. So what are the different types of mooring permits? Real simple. You can either buy a one day mooring permit or a seasonal mooring permit. Now the one day, or I should say the one night mooring permit is calculated at 92 cents a foot. So as an example, we have a 33 foot boat, so that would work out to $30.36 for the night. If you're thinking of overnighting on many occasions, you might want to look at a seasonal pass and that is calculated at $10.02 a foot. So using our 33 foot boat as an example again, that would work out to $330.66 and that is for unlimited overnight stays at any of the locks on the system. If you're not quite sure as to how many nights you will be spending at the locks, just buy the daily passes as you can upgrade to a seasonal pass at any way along. Just hold on to your nightly passes as you can apply those towards the annual fee. They'll just take that money right off the top. Now most of the locks don't offer any shore power hookup, but the ones that do, it's available at an extra charge of $10.02 for any 24 hour period. The four locks that do offer shore power are Fenland Falls, Frankfurt and Buckhorn, all of them at the top side of the lock only, as well as Bob Cajun on the lower side. If you're traveling with a full complement of crew, but there's not necessarily enough room to sleep on the boat, most of the locks also offer camping, and that comes in at $4.90 per person per night. So just remember to bring your camping gear with you, just in case. Some of the lock stations offer ice, firewood, and even nautical charts for sale. Something very important to keep in mind is that you cannot make a reservation at any of the locks on the system. So it's always a bit of a coin toss as to whether you're going to get in or not. Now that said, in the 15 years that Anchor Girl and I have been traveling through the system and spending nights at the locks, we've always been able to get into the place that we were hoping to get to. Now for both Anchor Girl and myself, we love staying at the locks. Many of them come across as being quite remote, which adds to the sense of adventure when you're traveling. So 
so yeah if you haven't watched my epic boat cruise series 2018 or at my epic boat cruise 2019 series i will leave a link in the description and you can see all of the fun places that we got to see over the last couple years and all the locks that we stayed at very awesome very beautiful highly highly recommend it it's a different world on the water and it's a different world staying at the lock so yes would highly recommend it So that's it. That's the ins and outs of staying at the locks, overnighting at the locks. Hope you found that informative. And if you haven't had a chance yet, take a look at my lock fees video because I'll go through all your different options of paying for lock passage for traveling through the Trans Southern Waterway. So yeah, that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you on the next one, my friends. Happy boating. Cheers.